Hello, team. Hello, YouTube. Uh, Martin Ethan here from Team GHQ, and yes, uh, we're putting our faces out there. So uh, let's go with what we're doing here today. Uh, we we are doing something called the Team GHQ Informational. Now this is going to be a this is going to be about us discussing Car Five Angle topics, rulings, new, all the new stuff like that that's been coming out recently. So, you want to kick us off, Ethan, with this one? Well, first we're going to talk about the um, World Championship and the finals and who won. This, I know this is like a week late, but just for three people that I don't know. Uh, well, first, uh, it's very good because it's very surprising how um, not Shadow Paladins, Revenge, the Legion, Break the Red Build isn't in any top three at all, which is very good for the game. Really? Yeah. I actually fought with uh, what we experienced back over in, back in Manchester in October because we had that pretty much quite a bit all over the place. Yeah, it was topping like this to every national, was even in America and Asia, it was topping quite a lot of them. But no, nope, not in top three. Mm. So, first I want to say sorry for a bunch of these names, because I'm a stupid Englishman and I'm most likely going to ruin them. <laughs> but third place, we have Louis Armando Pierre Cabral. He was playing Link Joker Messiah. So Messiah is obviously good. Um, the G-Rare, the Amnesty is obviously very good. Mm. Unlocking and getting a crit for unlocking all your opponents rear guards pretty much and unlo unlocking yours it's very now, strong I just want to mention about uh, ec the new messiah unit Excelix messiah now, yes that's, that's going to make the deck even better this is going to make yeah exactly this is going to soup up the deck so much you can, in, with Excelix messiah you can base it's basically like GB3 or something and you can kind of blast unflip a copy of the old one to unlock everything when it attacks I think and you stand your units and they gain 3k and you retire all your opponents unlocked units so basically you could um, you don't even need to lock your own units you could lock all your opponents units and then retire their whole field for basically just a counter blast and on flip that is that that's it, it's a, pretty stupid it's nasty yeah. that is pure nasty and you only need to unlock three or more for it to gain the extra crit I think it is it gains but it's very very silly yes you could pretty much wipe out the whole field and gain a crit yeah, for it exactly um, second place, we have Simon McGoldrick playing Damage Police Metal Borgs. Obviously, Metal Borgs and Topping Grade 1 uh, guarding and high is good. Yeah. But it's That's... very good how a Legion got for, yeah. got second because with people staying on Grade 2 how they are nowadays, uh, well, at least they did at Nationals. I don't know about now. Um, but uh... yeah. But maybe maybe at the official tournament they with don't. Heavy Duke, that's extra card pulls, so that's an extra. Yes, Heavy bit. Duke, yeah. yeah. The extra drop power would help as well. The fact that you don't, you only need to kind of blast. You just go to like Baron Grade or something. If you don't get Simbus, and then you just stride straight away if you got two kind of blast. Yeah. And then you just keep you keep striding into into Heavy Duke until you set up for Legion, and then you've got silly columns there, haven't you, with the Vanguard, and then mm. Laurel's still at four, of course. So you get to do silly plays with that. Anything you want to add to that, or is that it? No, I, I'm just in awe of the Melbox because it's... How long has it been since uh, the Legion arc of boosters? I think it was about... It sex was 16, sex 17, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just after... Uh, not... Just after Reverse, wasn't it? It was just after Nationals. Uh, I'm thinking in 20... No, this, this will be Nationals 2014. 2014, yeah. yeah, 2014 Nationals. Yeah. I think from Legion is still a very strong thing. Sending back triggers is always good. Mm. And uh, you can see that with the top two. But I find it very interesting with Metalborgs how he actually planned for like Ripple and stuff because he played three 10k vanillas <laughs> in Metalborgs. So he rode that, obviously, and that stopped a lot of uh, rushing with, um, with Ripple. Yeah. And, and not only Ripple, but decks that stayed on grade two. Yeah, it's like uh, I put in my Maelstrom deck, I put in 10k vanillas. I only put in three, but 10k vanillas stop. Quite a bit of attacks. Vanillas are still very good. I don't. I wouldn't really say the grade one, unless I won't say grade one vanillas unless like at your locals people are rushing you if you ride a seven k or something. But other than that, it's very very good vanillas, especially grade twos. Next we go to the champion, Rafli Atarucco. That's probably butchered as hell. He's playing Aquafus Ripple. <laughs> now this isn't obvious. If you draw into Odysseus, you win pretty much. You might as well scoop. If you don't draw Odysseus, it dies. But I'm surprised he got it as often as he did. But uh, this is why I hate Ripple now so much. Like, Ripple stayed on grade 2, I saw the match, it stayed on grade 2, made him lose, a, made the Metal Ball player lose a lot of advantage until he, until his opponent knew he couldn't guard, and then he went, stro then he rode and went into the Ripple, grade 3, went into a load of different Genobius. stuff, did Legion, then just attacked and attacked and attacked, and then he just won in that turn. This is why Ripple Odysseus is going to 2, because it's very silly. Mm. And speaking of Ripple going to 2, well first, congratulations for that guy for winning. Yeah, congratulations. Must be very good on him. 
Congratulations for winning. But talking about Odysseus going to two. Oh yes. There's been some rulings in Japan that are actually coming over here. Uh, I believe I've actually read this. Uh, this is starting from February the first. So of this year. We are currently on the twenty second. So that's. Nine, ten days time? Yes, uh, the 30, 31st is about 10, 10, 11 days, some of us or so. Yeah. But starting from then, in English as well, this also affects Japan, but in English, um, starting from 1st of February 1st, 2016, fighters may only include two copies of um, Fashion of Odysseus in a deck, which obviously makes the deck a lot less inconsistent. And this consistent. makes the deck a lot fairer because you're not thinning as much. Yeah, it makes it a lot more fair. You're not thinning as much, you can't get it as easily, so. It's a lot less consistent, but that's what that's what the point is. If they, if they they could even have done two things with the deck, they could have either errated Odysseus, so it was like the zeal one, where when it's placed on rearguard, yeah, um, it gets its effect, or they could have limited it to two, and they chose to limit to two, and I think that's a very good effect. I would have said I would have said limit to two more than doing it to zeal because even so, at max with that seal ruling, it's still just got to be ridiculous. It is, but still, it's, it's, it's more fair still, because it is only when it's placed on rear guard, mm. and then you have to choose a different one of your rear guards, and you can't call that one out, and it's, it's a lot more fair, even that way, but it's basically the only two things they could have done. If it burn it outright, which they never do because it's Bushy Road, or um, put it to two. And speaking of uh, new rulings, uh, there's another interesting one. Uh, it's also coming to English, so that's what makes it interesting. Sword Me is being ruled as... You can only put sword me in decks with dual knights in them. With pure grade three dual knights. No, you can run everything else that isn't dual knight, but grade three has to be dual knight. Dual knight. All of them have to be grade dual knight. You can run grade two rush, um, as long as you run at least one copy of a grade three dual knight, you can run sword me in it. But you've got to include at least one copy, otherwise you can't have sword me in it at all. Wow. I think this is going to make uh, dual knight decks a lot more affordable. Because Sormi's not going to be priced as high? Yeah, Jewel Knight, Sormi, I think, is going to be a lot a lot cheaper, or Jewel Knight decks are going to become a lot more competitive. In fact, just give me a second. I'm just going to take a quick look at Sormi's price currently on, say, what we use here. What we use is uh, Vanguard Singles. Yeah, it's, I personally use that. I think it's just easier. Even if it's out of stock, I still use the same pricing for that. Yeah, it just works. It just makes it more easier. So let's... While he's doing that... Um, Either, I think that Sword Me will either become a lot cheaper and it will make a Draw Knight decks a lot easier for people to get or Draw Knights are going to become a lot more competitive because they can get their Grade 2 rush out a lot more easily because not everyone else is rushing them. So decks like Sanctuary Guard are going to have to are going to be rushed quite easily and they're not going to like that because they can't do Sword Me themselves back. So people are most likely going to um, go into the... are most likely going to run Brennan, Brennan the Alfred Booster version of him. Of Sword Me. Mm. Kettle Blast 1 was placed on rear guard, 8k, it's an 8k guard. Call out a 6k card. So basically, you call out the Sword Blast 1 draw, 1 is placed on rear guard from deck. And that's what people are going to be running instead, but that's only a 14k column instead of a 19, because you can run Cymbeline and invest it and get 9, 10k. And that 19 on your grade 2 or grade 1 Vanguard hurts mm. a lot. It really does. Uh, so, so I'm just for it to Yeah. Sword Knight Sword Me is out of stock on Vanguard singles, and its current price is £15.30. 50. Yeah. Now that's going to drop. That is going to drop with, as soon as this ruling kit, so... Yes, it should. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't drop, to be honest, because it's not going to be used in every deck. It can't be used in every deck. It won't be used in Sank Guard, which is like the only deck that... You, well, every Royal Paladin deck uses it nearly. If you can mm. get hold of it, every Royal Paladin player uses it. Exactly. But when this comes out, it's going to drop a lot, and I, don't, I think people will try to get rid of them unless they go back, unless they try and build Jewel Knights, to be fair. I'd actually would like to see more Jewel Knights because of uh, that... The one card, the Jewel Knight Jira, that actually looked pretty decent. That Jewel Knight Jira is very good. It's basically what the Nova Goblin one should have been. It's an unflipper copy of itself, uh, act ability. Mm -hmm. All your Jewel Knights gain 3k. If you've got three or more Jewel Knights with great... Three or more units with Jewel Knight in the name on your rear guards. Um, all your Jewel Knights with... All your cards with Jewel Knight in the name gain 3k for each copy of itself in the G-Zone. Mm. So, so that could be like plus 6k. Easy. Well, on the first turn, if you go into it, you can be used as a first stride. So if you run four of it, you go into that first stride, all your units gain, 12, gain 3k. And then if you go into it a second time, all your units gain 12k. So it's like 
the Secretary God of Gale one, but sort of fair because you can only use it twice instead of four oh, times. Oh, okay, so Royal Paladin decks are gonna have the main one. Oh, no, nine times, sorry, 9k, not 12. 9K. Yeah, I was about to say, but, but that's still 18k on each column. Including that, is just, that is just mad. Yeah, that is pretty silly. Uh, but that is the second Vanguard. My, so. But here's the thing you could actually go Blizzard on first stride and then combo with that. You could Blizzard on flip a cop. <laughs> Yeah, you could Blizzard on flip a copy of the Jewel Knight one, and then go into um, the Jewel Knight again, on flip a copy, that would be that, and then you could go into it again, but you'd have, still have to unflip to get the skill, so it wouldn't really work. You'd, you might as, you're best off just going into Jewel Knight unflip, because it's just go straight in. It? Yeah. You save your canvas with Sword, me, Reverse, stuff like that. I would have thought, but honestly, I would have thought with Blizzard it would work, but. Yeah, yeah it, 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 something new. It's a good idea, but with the but if you're going to go into the point of Blizzard is so that you can unflip, get your DP too early. But if you're going to do that, you can blast, unflip one, and then you go into sort the Joy Knight one second. So then you have to unflip one for its skill to activate, which would be plus six, which is fair. But then on your first stride, if you went to go into it, you wouldn't be able to use its effects. You have to unflip one but uh, because of that. Because of uh, but Blizzard, say you if you, all of them. yeah, you can unflip at least uh, you could unflip at least one and then go into that second stride and get like at least two of them in G-Zone? Yeah, you could for plus six. It's debatable, you could do either one to be fair, it depends what you're doing at the time. You could run one Blizzard for that and then three like, two of the Alt Mouse Stride mm. and one Gablade if you wanted to, or one Samuel. I would rather prefer the Gablade Stride and Jewel Knight builds, but I would also say Samuel or... Jewel Knight's uh, based around having three or more rear guards, so I think it will work better to be honest than Samuel. Because yeah. they don't use Counter Blast apart from uh, Reverse and also... Mm. Oh, what's that card? So, so <laughs> if you're thinking about building Jewel Knights, uh, our try recommendation is simply as four of the G-Ref from Fire's Collection Winter. At least two of Samuel, because Samuel's got rear guards. You can either do two ways. Four G-Ref Jewel Knights, because obviously one of them is obviously very silly. Yep. Two Samuel, two Opmal, or two Opmal, one Samuel, or one Lizard. Because you want Opmal because it's very, very good. Search out oh. a grade two for an unflip, and all your rear front row gains 5k. So you can search out Sword Me, get another 1k out, it's very good on Miles Dried. So yeah, probably like 4G rares, at least 2 Samuel, 2 Alt Mile, something like that? Yeah, that's how I'd do it. I wouldn't go Gablade, because on hit stride on that goes, and Samuel can be used as first stride. Yeah, Samuel could be used as first stride. And so can the Jewel Knight, so it's mm. basically. It works. Uh, okay folks, uh, this has been Team JHQ Informational, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out our Team JHQ Facebook page, and also check out Geeks Headquarters Facebook page, and as always folks, happy gaming. Bye.